Hi, I'm Jax. Makeup is what I'm good at. I like makeup. So please watch me put on my makeup. See, now what I'm doing here is I'm rubbing eye cream all over my eyes. Just to make my eyes accentuate. Now I'm gonna rub my cheeks. That way they can become chipmunk cheeks when I eat. Let's see, we got eyeshadow primer. For fans of Transformers, uh, eyeshadow PRIME! I'm putting on eyeshadow primer because I want shadows on my eyes. They're not dark enough. Now you got a different kind of primer to make you more photogenic. Now we got some Anastasia. I don't want to feel a thing when I'm working on my eyeballs. I'm putting unity on my eyes just to make it more unified. You know how some people have unibrows? Well, this is kind of like that, except it's not on my eyebrows, it's on each individual eye. Let's see, now I'm brushing my eyeballs like I'm painting a picture. I'm very artistic and talented. I am Jax DeMilo. <laughs> but here's the subculture, Anastasia. Now I'm going to visit the planet Mercury, and I'm going to grab supplies from that planet. And whatever I take back with me, I'm going to put that on my eye. See, the subculture version is different from the mainstream version. How? I don't know. I guess it's more authentic. I've always been into astronomy and space type things. I'm very scientific, just like Mr. Spock. Especially when I put on makeup. I have my makeup down to a science. You know how you have to clean your ears every once in a while? Well, you gotta clean your eyes too. Brushing my eyeballs is just like brushing my teeth. Now I'm using a Q-tip, see? You, you can't just use Q-tips for your ears, you can use them for your eyes as well. And now I'm trying to use the lure powder on my eyes, that way I can lure you with my beautiness. Because I'm so pretty full. Oh, look at me. This is gonna lure so many people. My eyes are luring the brush. I implore you to keep watching me do my own makeup. First I want to make my eyes one shade, then I want to make them another, and now I want to make them a totally different one. I can't seem to make up my mind about what color I want my eyes to be. The decisions that I have to make every day, it's almost mind boggling. I mean, when is it going to end? More brushing, more brushing. Mmm, yeah. Hey now, I'm an all-star. Put my makeup on. Yeah. Hey. Hey now, I'm an all-star. <laughs> all of the glitter I'm going to put on is gonna turn to gold. And I'm gonna be a shooting star. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, donkey. What are you doing in my swamp? You know, instead of it being brown or skin colored, I want to make it kind of reddish. Oh, this is so time consuming, putting on all this makeup. So much work, so little time. Now look, I'm, I'm getting the sides of my eye first. I don't want to get the middle yet because the middle is the best. It's just like Ohio. It's high in the middle and round on both ends. Look at this, now I just want to paint the corners. And now I'm working on the sides of the other eye. And now I'm brushing it all to evenness. A relatively equal distribution. That's mathematic. That's what I learned in school. I'm gonna make my eyes look rowdy. Now I'm gonna get rowdy. Cause rowdy is my type of life. It's my type of crowd. It's my type of work. Rowdy's what I look for in a man. But you see what I mean? I had my eyes one color just a minute ago, and now I want to paint them a different color. I'm going to make what's already dark on my eyes even darker, and then I'm going to keep spreading it. That way it can go to the middle. Ooh, how feisty. Now my eyes look like they really have shadows on them. Ooh, spooky, spooky, spooky. Brushing, 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 brushing. Now I'm going to go to a different dimension, a new galaxy, intergalactic planetary of metal. See, I'm putting glitter on my eye, see? Just like I mentioned earlier with the all-star thing. 
all my glitter is gonna turn to gold, but it's not gold yet, it's, it's silver. And it's so adorable. Everyone's gonna go cray cray over it. I'm gonna put glitter on my eyes so that way it looks all reflective. So when you look into my eyes, you're gonna see yourself. That's deep. Since you're looking into me, we both cancel each other out. This time I'm getting even with all parts of my eye. Not just the sides, but I'm getting the middle too. Because I don't want to discriminate anymore. I am using Inglot. I am using Charcoal Inglot. I'm putting it on my eyes with a very tiny, tiny brush. I just dipped my brush into water. Did you know that the human body is 80% water? But I better be careful, because if I poke it into my eyes, it's going to hurt. It's gonna make me cry. I hadn't cried so much since my wedding. Oh, I can't believe this day has come! But sometimes I do it intentionally just to remind myself of how beautiful that moment was. Seeing the eyeliner is getting really pointy in the corner. The one toward my nose and the one towards the other eye. Now I'm doing it to the other eye. Once again, accentuating the gems in my skull. See, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make you think that my eye ends in a different place than it actually does. You know, it just makes my eyes look bigger. But I know the truth. And this is a test to you. To see where you think my eyeballs end. Now you see what I'm doing? I'm adding a thicker layer here. Because thickness is the answer to everything. La Mascula la 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 professional. Okay, now I'm gonna start putting on some concealer. That way I can conceal certain things that are on my face right now. My pimples are looking orange right now, but don't worry. In a few minutes, I'm gonna rectify that situation. I'm also going to put it under my eyes too, because I stayed up all night partying with uh, Nikki Benz. She's super cool. I'm her biggest fan. I got her t-shirts and I got her autographs and everything, and now I'm doing makeup just like her. Yeah, I'm using this top right corner, because usually when I'm in my own space, I have my own happy corner. So that's what I'm trying to replicate. See, as you can see, Anastasia is my favorite. I'm using Anastasia on everything. And see, I'm, I'm brushing even thicker now, because if I cover my whole face in this thickness, I could be a member of fucking KISS! Whoa, that's deep. Now look at this. If I put a whole bunch in this area, it means I can spread it to a totally different area. You know, like the rest of this side of my face. See, I'm even getting a little bit on the other side too! Isn't it wonderful? You gotta use your resources really well. Yeah, try finding my skin imperfections under my eyes now! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm serious though, if you do, I'll give you $20. Just point out where it is. Oh, the beauty community is going to love me for this. This is why I'm a professional. I'm so good at doing my own makeup that people pay me to do their makeup too. Mm, now I'm getting above my eyebrows because it's, it's so important. Makeup forever. See, it lasts forever, so you only have to put it on once. Isn't that so convenient? That would make participating in movie sets go by a lot quicker. Less hours per day putting on makeup and stuff, you just put it on once and that's it. It's just like putting a chemical straightener in your hair. You don't have to worry about it for a long ass time. I'm brushing my chin in the same way that you brush your teeth. You're supposed to brush your teeth like twice a day. Well, the cool thing about brushing your chin in your face is you only have to really do it once a day. So, in a way, putting on my makeup is a lot easier than it is to brush my teeth. Not many people can say that they're proud of their line of work, but I sure can. See, the centers of all my cases, they're, they're empty because I use so much of them, but you use the center to try to replicate a bullet hole. 
because I like to bang bang skeet skeet people because I'm from the hood no not really For noses, it's really important to get deep into the cracks and craters and whatever else noses might have. If I put makeup on my nose, it'll make things smell better. But it's also going to make me hungrier because if things smell better, then the next pizza I walk by, it's gonna, it's gonna smell better than it usually does and it's gonna make me want it even more. And that's not really good because I've been making a lot of progress at the gym lately. You know, I've been burning off a lot of calories, and I don't want to gain any more than I absolutely have to per day. But since I'm so beautiful, it's probably not going to matter too much. If I brush too much in this area, I'll sneeze. So I have to be really careful, and only do it in light strokes. <laughs> Achoo! Same thing with my eyes, and my chin. If I put makeup around my eyes, it'll make me see better. And if I put makeup on my chin, It'll make it easier for the Rock'em Sock'em guy to punch me. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin! Little pig, little pig, let me in. See, and I like to put makeup under my hairline too, because that accentuates my hairline. Now I'm painting my forehead. Who would have thought? You wake up one day and you have to paint your forehead. I had to start doing that when I was 12 years old. My hair is so blonde and pretty full. So you know, I'm getting the sides of my eyes too. It's important to get everything, because if you do something, never mind. Oh, I'm thinking of a joke right now. It's one that Tony told me earlier today. It's making me crack up a bit, but I can't crack up too much, otherwise my eyes are gonna get all squinted and everything. See, I'm pouring my cocaine onto here. Okay, and now I'm gonna put on some baby face. And they call it baby face because when I put it on my face, people go, hey baby, that's a cute face. I'm gonna brush the cocaine all over my face. If I put some above my lip, I can snore it if I try really hard. See, and the brush is so gentle that it's, it's like baby's skin. So gentle until they're butchered at birth. And then they're not so gentle. I'm putting some more All-Star on my eyes. That way I can become a superstar of metal. Doing makeup is kind of like painting a house. You gotta, you gotta make sure to do the touch-ups and fix your mistakes at the end. Mmm, this is my favorite lollipop. It tastes like eyelashes. I'm putting glue onto my eyelashes. And I'm gonna take the eyelashes, and I'm gonna put them on top of my real eyelashes, that way I can have a double set of eyelashes. On one hand, I have to use this special type of glue to keep them on, but it makes it kind of hard to get them off later. I only have one eyelash on so far. It's making me feel disoriented. Wow, I wish I could do that to my nose. I could have two noses. Then everything will smell so much better. Mmm, now look at my eyelashes. They're so thick that they're almost like bird's eyelashes. Maybe I'll want to go south for the winter. Now look at this, I'm positioning it just right for now. Then I'm gonna start working on the bottom. Oh my god, look at this! Dip brow pomade. Let's see, I'm gonna start working on my eyebrows now. Those are the only things so far that haven't gotten a whole lot of attention. I'm gonna darken them just a little bit, so that way you can see the scowl on my on my face when I'm mad at you because expressions are everything these days people may say one thing but their facial expression and their their body language it means something totally different Ooh, I'm gonna deep throat someone now I'm putting some deep throat on and when I put the deep throat on that's a good thing because when I put deep throat on my face it means I'm really good at deep throating yeah I'm putting deep throat all under my eyes and 
on the side of my eyes and all over my face. Just look at my face and it says deep throat all over it. That doesn't mean it's an invitation. It's just a statement. Look at all the different colors I have for all my different brushes. I got them in all shapes, sizes, and colors. I have the biggest brush collection in the world. I'm proud of this brush collection. Thomas Rutt ain't got nothing on me. Now I'm going to work on my lips now. Because working on your lips is really important. I'm putting a pencil around my lips. You know, because I like to draw mouths in my notebook when I'm in school or at work or something. So I'm doing it in real life, you know, just to, just to make sure that uh, everybody understands where the parameters are. I mean, you gotta know where my lips begin and end, right? It's very important. Especially when I'm eating. You might ask, oh my god, where is she going to stick that sandwich? Well, now you know. Look at this, I'm putting Play-Doh on my lips. Mmm, look at this. I'm gonna use orgasm. I'm gonna put orgasm on my lips. Because my lips will make you orgasm quick. When I put this on my lips, it feels like an orgasm. It's so sexual, isn't it? Okay, now I'm gonna play with my hair and see how I look. Ooh, my hair looks so good today. Oh, look at my hair. I'm fluffing it out and I look so pretty full. Okay, okay, that's cool. I'm so proud of the job I did today. And the beauty community will be proud of me too. Now look at this. This is my sassy look. Mmm, now I'm primping. Well, thank you for watching me put on my makeup. Goodbye!